Distinguished guests, founders of the Aurora Prize, the members, co-members of the Selection Committee, and the Aurora Laureates, uh, it's a great pleasure to see you and delighted that we have gathered again uh, this year. I am honored to be here to celebrate the achievements of the Aurora Laureates and the Aurora of 2022 who even in the darkest times have committed themselves to giving others help and hope. This has been a turbulent year for the world. The COVID-19 pandemic, which wrecked such a terrible suffering across the globe and continues to do so, has been followed by the first war in Europe for 70 years and the worst energy crises and cost of living crises for a generation. All nations and all people have been affected. But it's always the poor and the disposed who suffer most. Who will come to their aid in such a difficult time? Today we have gathered here to recognize courageous human rights activists who have shown an extraordinary heroism and compassion towards those less fortunate than themselves. We will name one of them as the 2022 Aurora Prize Laureate. He or she will be gifted $1 million prize with which to continue the unbroken cycle of giving by using it to support their chosen organization that could help people in need. That is the purpose of the Aurora Humanitarian Initiative. As we heard, it's about awakening humanity to gratitude in action, which encapsulates the objective of our movements and the vision of our founders. In all, 26 humanitarians have been nominated for the prize since 2016. All of them work among underserved and vulnerable communities in the farthest corners of the globe. Thanks to the generous backing of our many supporters, we have been able to reach 2.5 million beneficiaries through our programs over the past six years. This year, we lost the 2021 Aurora Humanitarian, Dr. Paul Farmer, who died tragically young of a heart attack, aged just 61. Dr. Farmer was the co-founder and chief strategist of Partners in Health. Partners in Health is an international not-for-profit organization which brings the benefits of modern medicine to those who would otherwise be unable to access them. He helped millions of people by working with governments to strengthen health systems in 11 countries. The work he did gave a critical advantage to those countries during the COVID-19 pandemic. His life of a humanitarian service exemplifies what the Aurora Initiative stands for. In his last interview, he said, there is not one of us who hasn't benefited from the kindness of others. Often it's family, but strangers too. Gratitude in action is what we all need. He added, if you look at what causes the most discontent in the world, it is inequality. By this, often related to education, healthcare, and freedom from want. So, if we can address those needs, I think we'll have less troubled world in the future. We mourn his loss. Our mission at Aurora is to recognize, celebrate, spread the work of humanitarians like Dr. Farmer around the world. The late Vartan Grigorian, our dear founder, the father of Aurora Prize, died last year and often recalled the kindness of strangers who had helped him. 
as an impoverished immigrant arriving in the US in 1956. He struggled, he then prospered, and eventually rose to become a dedicated philanthropist during six decades of public service to the country that took him in. Today's modern day heroes inspire and guide us and show us how to preserve in the face of seemingly overwhelming challenges. They remind us of our common humanity and encourage us to show the same commitment to serving the poor and the marginalized. They remind us too of our duty to give to everyone an equal chance and to pay it forward as our founders and mentor Vartan Gregorian did. Thank you. Thank you.